Good morning. Welcome to this recorded tour of HKVU Library. My name is Chris Chan, and I'm the Deputy University Librarian here at HKVU. And what we're going to do for you now is a brief tour, just maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, we're recording this in the summer holidays, so it's nice and quiet. We won't disturb anyone. So follow me. Let's uh, go in. So as you can see, we've just come through the entrance turnstiles here. So to come in to the library, you just need your student card. There's no extra card that you need to sign up for. So as we come in, you can see uh, several facilities. There's the user services counter, which is where you check your books in and out, and other wonderful services like laptop loans. You can borrow a laptop from the library there too. Uh, just over there is a book return, uh, so you don't uh, have to go to the counter. If the counter's closed, you can return your books there. And there are other book returns uh, on campus as well. Let's just waltz over here for a second for a very important place in the library, which is the information desk. So if you have any questions about using the library, uh, using our e-resources, for example, our databases. Uh, you can come to this desk and there'll be a colleague here to help you. Again, it's the summertime right now, so this desk is closed in the morning, but during the semester, there'll be someone here throughout the day to help you. Uh, so don't be shy. Over here, now in these times of pandemic, uh, hygiene is very important. So we do provide a book sterilizer so after you check your books out, uh, you can bring them over here and just pop them in the sterilizer. And you can see down here, it'll take 50 seconds and they'll be nice and clean for you. Use them in good health. Ah, my favorite stop of the tour, our short story dispenser. Still the only one in Asia I think, I actually haven't checked that recently. But uh, this is for your reading pleasure. Sometimes it's nice just to have some literature at your fingertips. So you, as you can see here, you can choose a one minute, three minute or five minute short story, uh, much better than checking Instagram for the millionth time that day. And again, we're concerned about hygiene, so it is touch free. So I'm just gonna do a one minute story there. And uh, instantly, it will be printed and for your enjoyment. Ooh, east is left, west is right. That sounds interesting. I'm going to save that one for later. But remember, if you're finished, well, ideally, you should share them with a friend. But you can also recycle them here as well. Okay, we have a lot of machines on level three. This is our self-check machine. So you'll find that there are some times of the day and on weekends when the library is open, but the user services counter is closed. So if uh, that's the case, you can bring your books here uh, and check them out yourself. And of course, if there's a long line at the counter, you can come over and uh, use the machine then too. If the machine doesn't work for whatever reason, which sometimes happens, go to the counter, or when the counter's closed, you can approach the security guard on duty and they will help you out. All right, moving on. Oh, here is one of the library's charging stations for your power needs. You can see we have a wide selection. Well, I think these are all, no, USB-C, USB-A, I'm sure there are some iPhone ones there, too. Uh, so you will never run out of power in the library. Let's go upstairs. Oh, one thing I want to mention is that on this floor and the floor below, we actually come in on level three. It's a little confusing. The main entrance of the library is on level three. So level three and level two below us. These are conversational areas, so you don't have to be silent. 
But when we go upstairs, level four and above, we do have to be uh, silent. I will not be. Again, we're filming this during the summer, so there's very few people in the library. But when you all come, uh, please do observe uh, silence on level four and above. Ah, welcome to level four. It's a hot day and I'm just enjoying the air conditioning. It's very cool, very breezy. So over on this side, you can see this is true of all the floors of the library. We have a lot of seating. Uh, we'll see some more upstairs too. Just be aware uh, there may be pandemic restrictions in place. Uh, so if any study places are marked as not for use, uh, please do observe that. Over here are two special needs user rooms. Uh, so students with special needs uh, such as uh, visual impairments, we have a lot of equipment in here uh, for them to use. So if you do fall into that category, uh, you can uh, book this room uh, in the MLC and we'll be going over there shortly. Over here are our special collections and archives. So these are where some of the rarer items in the library's collections are kept. They are closed stacks, which means that you can browse them, but you can discover them on the website and in the library search engine. So if you find something that's marked as, oh, it's in special collections and archives, this is where you would come and there's a service desk there. Uh, again, there's no one on duty because it's summertime, but uh, during the semester, you'll find someone there and they'll help you to retrieve it. Some more, not mundane, but the, some more everyday services here. We have uh, photocopiers and printers on every floor. Uh, they're all octopus operated. Gordon, my amazing cameraman, is giving you a, a close-up of that there. And over here, very useful, scanning service. Uh, so, and this is free. I mean, the photocopying is, is pretty cheap, uh, but the scanning is completely free. And as you can see, we have a nice scanner here, you can scan up to uh, A3 size. And, oh, yes, so over here, you will find red phones like this on every floor of the library except uh, level three where we just came from because there are service counters there where you can get help. Uh, so these phones connect directly to the user services counter. So if you know the photocopy is jammed or the scanners exploded, uh, you can call down for assistance there. We're now coming, I'm sure Gordon will get a great shot of this the Multimedia Learning Center, the newest, I guess, newest, newest renovation. Uh, so the most recently renovated space in the main library. And as the name implies, we have all of our multimedia collections here. So these are our music CD collections. You kids remember what CDs are, right? <laughs> You're Many of you are probably too young to actually have ever bought a CD. But we still have lots of them. And we also have our DVD and Blu-ray collections. And one of the main features of the MLC is uh, the computer workstations that we have. Oh, I knew I would forget something. And on level three, I forgot to show you the public workstations and printers there. We do have a set on level three, but there's another set here on level four. Uh, the printers are well hidden. They're over here. And actually, an insider tip that I will give you 
is that the uh, printers and the computers that I forgot to show you on level three, they're often very busy because they're close to the main entrance and people see them and they know where they are and they use them. But often uh, these ones are less used. So if you ever come to the library and see a huge line for printing, my tip is come here and use this printer because <laughs> usually no one is here. Uh, over here, let's sneak in. This is the collaborative computer lab. So thankfully, we're fingers crossed, returning to mostly face-to-face -face teaching uh, this academic year. Uh, so hopefully there will be many, many library workshops in this space. So if you're ever assigned to a library workshop session and the venue is the Collaborative Computer Lab or the MLC Lab, this is the space. So hopefully I will be seeing you here soon. Let's sneak over here. Gosh, I, I usually don't talk so loud in the MLC. I feel like I'm being very naughty. Ah, I mentioned CDs. We have even older formats like uh, LPs and VHS. And obviously not many people have VHS players at home these days. So we provide those. Uh, sometimes they're under maintenance, but you know, we'll, we'll get those fixed, hopefully. Uh, so if you ever do need to view a VHS tape or, or listen to an LP, uh, you can do that here. All along this side of the MLC, we have our postgraduate study rooms. So these are individual study rooms for our postgraduate students only. Sorry, undergrads. Uh, and it's an online booking system, which you can find on the library website. So if you do that booking and it's your turn, you can just tap your card there. And of course, I haven't made a booking and I'm not eligible because I'm not a postgraduate student, so it's rejected me. But if you have booked, then it would open for you. Let's come all the way around so we can have a peek at one of the group viewing rooms, which will be locked. Again, this or these rooms can be, oh, it's not locked, okay. Some security flaws here, <laughs> just kidding. It's, there's nothing valuable in here. Uh, so let me switch on the lights. Uh, so again, if you have a group project or um, uh, another need to have a small meeting with your classmates or colleagues, you can book this room online. Uh, and you can see the equipment here, there's a uh, screen. There is no computer in this room, so but of course I mentioned, oh that one does, thanks Gordon for the correction. This one does have a computer. It's the ones downstairs that don't have computers. But if you ever in need of a computer, you can borrow a laptop from us. All right. Let's go out this way. These are the music scores for all of you musicians. Now, just before we leave, this is the MLC uh, counter. Um, so if you need help with the room, your room bookings or the equipment here, or if you need to book the special needs user rooms, uh, you can ring this bell for assistance and someone will come to help you. Okay. We're now about to go upstairs. Uh, the library has seven floors. I'm not gonna show you every single one because above level four, they're pretty much the same. They are uh, book stacks and study spaces. So this is where you will find uh, most of our print book collection, both English and Chinese. as well as most of our roughly 1,000 study places that we have in the libraries. It's good exercise too. Although of course we have, we have a lift, but uh, 
walking up to level five is it's fun too. Uh, maybe we'll avoid that side where renovation is going on. Let's go up on this side. So there are all of our books. By the way, um, if it's your first time using an academic library, we have a huge collection. We have one million print volumes, roughly, and we have lots of different classification schemes. So if it's your first time, don't hesitate to come and ask for help at the information desk or the user services counter if you're having trouble finding something. So in the center of the floor, you'll find most of the book stacks. But on the wings, on level five, and also level seven, we have a similar setup. Uh, there are small sets of stairs, and you can see Sean Gordon is capturing a wonderful shot of just how many study spaces we have. And we're quite happy with these. They're, they're relatively new, these desks. Uh, so I'm, Gordon's doing a close-up there. You can see there's individual PowerPoints. There's even a, a light for you there. Um, so you can have a nice cozy little time here. Uh, in our study carols. Oh, Gordon is, is highlighting there. Uh, you can directly plug in a USB. Very handy. You don't need to bring your, your adapters to the library. Great. Um, it does get potentially very crowded here. Um, during the examination period in particular. So we do have some reminders here. Uh, and the one I particularly want to highlight is that you really should not reserve these seats. So sometimes folks will come in here, they'll put their books down and then leave and then go to a lecture or, you know, they won't come back for hours. And we get lots of complaints from students saying, oh, there's no there's nowhere to sit. No one's here, but they've occupied the seats with their stuff. So. We do have measures in place to mitigate that, but it would be best if no one did that in the first place. So thank you in advance for your cooperation. We're now going to descend all the way to level two. Because, as usual, I save the best until last. Uh, so again, we're on level five. Upstairs is more books, more study spaces. But downstairs on level two is something I'm rather proud of. As we go down, you can see on the walls one of the or examples from one of the library's special collections. These are portraits of Chinese writers. Although, and those, and that's a great collection. But if I'm honest, my favorite collection is the one we're about to go past now, which are the Hong Kong travel posters. These are really nice. So these are posters. Remember when we could fly places? Uh, these are produced by airlines over the years to advertise Hong Kong as uh, a tourist destination. So these are these are the originals, or well, these may not be the originals. These, these may be prints, but the library owns the originals. So that's one of our special collections. So we're now descending to level two. And this is what I'm so proud of. This is our academic commons. It says so right there. <laughs> we're in, let me pose with it, hi. Uh, the academic commons where, as you can see, group discussions and conversations are not just permitted, but positively encouraged. So we have lovely furniture here, and 
you can move it around. You know, move around the seats, uh, the tables to a certain extent, uh, and reconfigure them to your particular needs and preferences. Uh, we have down on this floor too our popular books uh, collection. Uh, so if you're in for a bit of leisure reading, in addition to your short stories, uh, you can grab some books from down here. On this side are our group study rooms. These are the ones that don't have uh, computers. They do have a screen, uh, but if you need a computer, uh, you can borrow a laptop or you can hook your own laptop up there. There you can see another of our charging stations for your power needs. And I do want to bring Gordon, follow me, through the sea of furniture to the other side. Because you can see here some additional furniture. Uh, we call these media scapes where you can hook up your laptop there and share your screen with your, your group mates here. Th these don't need to be booked. They're available just Go ahead and use them. Um, don't point the camera over there. There's renovation going on, which will be finished by the time the students are here. Uh, there's another bank of public PCs over there and uh, a printer room. Uh, there's no printer in it yet. So another bit of renovation work going on, which will soon be finished. Now, the most important thing to say about this space is that it opens 24 hours a day during the semester. Uh, so the entrance is still the same. So the level above also remains open 24 hours. So uh, you can, if you need to study overnight, I hope don't do that every day, you, know, you, you need to sleep too. Uh, but this space is always available for you if you do need uh, space to, to study or just to hang out with your friends. You know, we're not going to stop you from doing that. But uh, yeah, this space is available. OK, that's it for our brief recorded tour. Remember, if you have any questions, there are plenty of ways to contact us at our service desks upstairs. Or if you check out the library website, there's lots of options for contacting us online to email, WhatsApp, Facebook Messenger. All right, it's a pleasure to give you this tour, and I hope to see you in the library in person very soon. Thank you.